one that's going to figure out the total length of time of this playlist. So you added artists, you searched artists, uh, you added songs, you searched artists, you erased some songs. Now I just want to know how long is this playlist in seconds. I'm not even going to complicate it and make you divide by 60 and tell me how many minutes. We're just going to flat out tell them how many it is in seconds. So the last method is going to be called playlist length. And that I'm going to send over in the parameter there, the array list. Again, it's going to get sent over and the method's going to catch that. And that's it. Inside of that method there, it's going to just print out. So I don't even need this is it for the main method. Now, inside the last method, public, static. Now, this is a void method because we're not going to return anything. Play list length. Array list string, and then where this is the last time we're sending over the array list, so this is noise four. And inside of here, what we're going to do is we're just going to count how many seconds there are. So I'm going to say, so let's keep a counter and I'll call it total. There's the counter, it's just going to count how many seconds there are. Now the song lengths are in spot. Uh, two. So remember, zero is the song title, one is the artist, spot two is the length of song. So we're going to create a for loop that's going to start at two. It's going to go all the way to the end. So while J is less than noise for dot size. And then we're going to skip by threes again because the next song's length is at spot five. Inside of here, so what I'm gonna do for a second, I'm gonna say, okay, there's a temporary variable. I'm gonna say, go to noise four and go get that, go get that value that's there. And the reason I'm creating this temporary value is that's a string. Remember, although you'll know it's in seconds, I know it's in seconds. The computer thinks it's a string, doesn't think it could do any math to it. So we just have to turn it into a number that we could work with. So int time, that's going to be the length of it. So how do you turn a string into a number? It's this, it's capital I integer dot parse int. So it, and then inside the parentheses, put temp. So what that does is it takes a string and turns it into an integer. So we could do some math here. And all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say total is now going to be whatever total is plus time. So the total amount of uh, songs, it's gonna loop through, it's gonna take the seconds you put in, turn those into integers, and then keep adding it to time. And then for the last step, I will just put here outside the for loop, System.out.println uh, total time length of playlist. And here I just put total. And that will have the program run exactly the way I want it. So to kind of show you it, I'll hit play here. Okay, would you like to enter in a song? Yes. The name of the song, the name of the song is truck. The artist that made truck is car. How long is it? 55 seconds. Would I like to enter another one? Yes. What's the name of the song? Uh, desk. The artist that made this was also car. And this song is 44 seconds long. And let's say there was, let's put one more song in here and let's call it desk. But this song, oh, I, I, Instead of putting yes or no, I accidentally typed desk. I wasn't reading there, so I'll live with this. So there's my playlist. It has truck. The song is truck by car. It's 55 seconds long. There's another song called desk by car. Which artist would I like to look for? Car. And it tells me car has, well, it has a song as truck and it has a song as de uh, desk. Then which song would you like to erase? So let's just erase. I'm not a big fan of the song desk made a mistake somewhere in there it still printed it out uh, I can look
look at this mistake. Line 81. Oh, I for, it's a semicolon here. Okay, I had a semicolon. I need to put it on line 81. I'm not going to run it again. I promise you it works. I just had a small syntax error there. Hopefully uh, you play this at the speed that makes sense for you. Make sure you ask me questions and have a good day.